And Wyoming is like all completely different. Even the weather, it, it never makes up its mind. It's like Mother Nature is just sitting there. Should I do rainy or sunny? Rainy? So I'll do them both. Hi, we're the Care Kids. Our parents are crazy. They want to take us on a year long trip. They call it an empathy expedition. We're traveling the states to discover what makes us united. 50 states and 52 weeks. We watch the sunrise. Through the windows of our car, passing giants on the road, standing guard in the dark. And I saw you, you, cause I want to be like the wind. I want to run with you. If I summed up Wyoming in one word, it'd be wild. They have the world's largest elkhorn arch. The mountains for Wyoming, two of them have really, really weird names. Tetons. Yellowstone. Everyone took Yellowstone. We saw Old Faithful. Awesome. And the hot pots and the mud pots on the um, Old Faithful are really cool. And then also, there was like this really cool place behind where our camping spot was. There was just like this hill. It it seriously looked like the earth just completely tilted right in that one spot. We went into Jackson Hole and we walked along um, Main Street for a little while. We went to the shops and stuff. They had these really cool horn arches everywhere. In every state we find a kid guide, someone we shadow for a day and see how they work. In Wyoming we found Colby. He's a teen rancher and he does stuff like moving pipelines, washing pigs, feeding cows, and riding horses. We are at Flaming Gorge, Manila, KOA. It's a small little quiet town. You're literally 60 miles from the edge of the earth. There's a lot of beauty here, but there's not much here per se as shopping or Amazon's our friend. Google's our friend in Manila. <laughs> I am Colby's boss here at the KOA in Manila. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take you up where we're gonna go do garbage on real quick. Okay. So, it's a long walk up here, but. I am Colby's mom. <laughs> He's just always been a hard worker. My dad's a super hard worker. I've always worked. I've had a job since I was 13, like an actual job job. So I think it's just kind of in our family. I think you gotta work hard for the things you want. And I think Colby realizes that, especially working at the KOA these last few months. Uh, we went and cleaned out the fire pits, uh, we stocked wood, stocked ice, and hauled garbage. What's in it? I think it's fish guts. Does it smell like fish? <laughs> uh, the stinkiest part is probably the fish. <laughs> I've always thought like, oh man, I worked so hard, I just mowed the entire lawn. Oh, oh man, I gotta go like, oh, I gotta cool off, man, I'm gonna take a shower. And then like, there he is, like working all day and like, he's like herding cows and washing them and he's moving pipelines every day and he like, he really enjoys working. We've moved wheel lines, we 
We run tractors. Most of the time I think around here, most kids, it's just a farm life, um, so they start pretty young. Okay, so now we're gonna go move wheel lines real quick and then move hand lines. I'm gonna get soaked. Okay. Have you ever moved sprinkler lines before? No. I've never even watered my lawn. you never what? I've never even watered the lawn. <laughs> I don't even know how to work the sprinkler system. Like, just press this button, press this button. I my friend, it is not going to be like a sprinkler system. I know. No buttons. No buttons. <laughs> Much worse. Are those shoes going to work? No. Here, Ace, I'll take your other shoes for you, too. Good thing I'm wearing jeans. Oh, uh, they just help you so, like, your feet don't get wet and stuff. And, yeah. What are they called? Muck boots. Um, Colby kind of started a little bit later because we didn't move up here until he was about 12. Most of the time, I bet it's eight-ish on up, but the older they get, the easier it is for them to move them by themselves. So what you're going to do is just push it forward, turn it this way, and then just pull back. And then move it that way just a little bit, I'll tell you what's off. You can carry it from like the right there. So there's two different, per se, hand lines versus wheel lines. A hand line is just a single piece of pipe with a little sprinkler standing up that you, you, that you move by hand. You did it. Wheel lines are the lines with the wheels on it. Um, it's moved by a motor and then it's hooked into a sprinkler line which powers it up to spray the sprinklers. It's not really like things I've done in the past, because I'm lazy. <laughs> You're not lazy. I'm pretty lazy. Colby's teaching me some good work ethic. Ace's work ethic is pretty good. He tried. Right? He did. He did a good job. Awesome. Saved me lots of time. Moving sprinkler pipe for a 12-year-old, That's isn't that pretty tough work? Uh, I was at first, but then I got used to it. And now it's easy. The gaskets on these usually they come apart really easy, so you gotta. Super hard worker. The older he's gotten, I think at the age of 12, he really wanted to get a, a job, an actual job. But I kind of made him think, you know, you got your whole life to work. But um, we kind of slowed him down there. But um, we moved to Manila in 2014, and since then he's always had something to do. Colby's a great kid. He's hard working, never complains. Just comes in and says, what do you need me to do next? Goes and does it for 15. He has the mind of probably a 25 year old when it comes to his work ethic. The only time he does get upset is when mom makes him go to grandma's for a barbecue and then he's mad because he can't work. I don't really know. It's all pretty fun to me. Got driving tractors is fun to me. Um, Barman's fun to me, I guess. Colby's um, idea of fun is really work. Pretty much work is his fun. We're gonna go and wash my 4 h steer. You hook him up, it takes him a minute to get used to the water, and then hook the hose up, and then just go from there. I'm kinda nervous for batting the cap, the steer. Because at first I had to like calm it down, so is it gonna like kick me in the face? Do so I just squirt it or just? This is fun. We're on the road.